you. Now let's move to that in custody death that led to the TPD policy change. We're talking about Adrian Ingram Lopez, a lawyer hired on behalf of his young daughters threatening to sue the city and the three officers involved. Adrian Ingram Lopez died after police restrained him and held him face down. An autopsy by Pima County said Ingram Lopez had drugs in his system and a heart condition. An independent autopsy commissioned by the family claims the way the officers restrained that man contributed to his death. Now an attorney hired on behalf of Ingram Lopez's two-year-old daughter has sent the city a letter threatening a lawsuit in 60 days unless the city pays $10 million and enacts better police reforms. It's one thing to hang a banner from City Hall that Black Lives Matter. Uh, what's more important not just to Sophie, but the citizens of Tucson, Arizona, is what positive affirmative steps is the tu Tucson uh, council and mayor and, and government going to take to correct these problems? The Tucson police ruled the officers violated policies for the safety of people in custody. The three resigned as the department was preparing to fire them. The attorney for Ingram Lopez's mother says he's also working on a demand letter with more than money as a goal. They just don't want this to be happening to any other family. This is very painful for the family. Obviously for the mom, very painful. They just don't want this to be happening to anybody else. Coronado says the family also hopes the Pima County attorney's investigation will result in criminal charges against the three officers.